that as your nominee, I will challenge him to seven Lincoln Douglas style debates. These debates will have a moderator, but I mean, they'll have a timekeeper, but no moderator. Two adults talking about the nation. Probably the opening one, I heard that, and I'll answer in a second. He yelled over here, he won't do it. I'll tell you in a light book. Um, but I think the, the core principle here is that we ought to have time enough for the two people who want to be our leader to talk in depth. Probably one of them would be on health care. I've already said that if he wants to use a teleprompter, that would be fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, just for a second, I'm going to go into detail and explain why I think they'll say yes. There are two reasons. The first is ego. Can you imagine him looking in the mirror, graduate of Columbia, Harvard Law, editor of the Law Journal, greatest articulator in the Democratic Party? <laughs> How is he going to say he's afraid to be on the same podium with a West Georgia college teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a great advantage that I actually do study history, and unlike the president, I study American history. <laughs> <laughs> If the president has not already agreed, in the acceptance, <coughs> I will announce that as of that moment, the White House is my schedule. Wherever he goes, <laughs> because of the modern world and the speed of communication, I will show up four hours after the speech. <laughs> I will adopt the speech as a deadline. I don't think that will last more than two or three weeks. <laughs> now, let me talk very briefly about what I'm trying to accomplish, and then I want to take up one particular issue because it. it, it